I'm out in Billings, Missouri with Jerry Steiger. He is an owner of Maple Pass Farms. And I'm not seeing any maple trees, Jerry. Well, a simple long story, used to have a bunch of them, now they're all gone, but it's still called Maple Pass Farms. We're, we're on his soybean uh, field, and he has handed me this combine operator's manual. He told me I needed to get this quick read in really fast before we get started. Um, so you're gonna have me on this combine. We're gonna have you on the combine. This is harvest day for the soybeans, and funny enough, I usually keep this right by the bedside because it helps put you to sleep at night, <laughs> but that makes the interview even better, but you're not qualified till you finish it. So today I am a farm girl, so let's get started. Let's get started. I'll, I'll just start here with my reading, though. I'm gonna do it the manual way here first. Soybeans right there. About 15 and a half percent moisture. Yeah, Cammy, we don't do that anymore. We don't put the seeds in our mouths. We have electronic tools for that at this point. Good, because it wasn't that good anyway. <laughs> Not at this point. <laughs> so one of the first things we have to do is, is make sure the machine is in proper maintenance order. We've got several things. There's probably about 50 grease zerts on here. So we got to get grease. It's grimy, dirty, dusty work. So you take this right here and push this plate up and then it will unlatch right here. Double checking my work. I'm not really sure why because I already read through the whole manual. One thing that makes the combine really unique is all this information, all this product here in the back. This is where the seeds fall through and there's a fan that blows all of the chaff out the back. But this has to be the correct size in order for the seed to fall through and not all the trash to fall through. Sure. So that's why it's really important that we do this. Basically it's the filter of the combine. So you take your three quarter inch bolt can you see all of these fingers in here? I do. I'm going to remove them. Take all these fingers and you have to come in and put it, the bolt down in here and move these two levers until you can get those to match. All right, we've done our checks. Combine's in shape. We are ready to get in. I'm ready. Let's go. All right, Cammy, we are in the cab. Yes, we are. Are you ready to go? <laughs> I am. There's a lot of controls and a lot of buttons. Have you read the manual? Of course. Okay, we ought to be ready to go then. We are constantly making adjustments to this combine. Okay. Raising and lowering, speeding up. We're looking at our rotor speed. We're watching if everything is feeding. And then we're double checking back here to make sure seed is coming in the combine. How many pounds will this field make? We are looking for, we would like for this to make about 50 to 60 bushels per acre. So it should make around 600 bushels. Well, Jerry, I appreciate my day on the farm. It's been a lot of fun. It was actually harder than I had imagined to like keep it straight, you know? I don't know whether I should send you a bill for my work or if you're gonna send me a bill for the rows that I pushed over. The second one, probably. <laughs> so, you know, you're feeding America here. What's the population, uh, the percentage that are actually still doing ag though in our country? Yeah, we're down below 2% of the population. Um, that are still doing all of this work today. Super important, people don't eat without American farmers. Right. And I'm passionate about it. Southwest Missouri is mm -hmm. a great place to grow crops and raise a family. And it's a, a wonderful place for um, agriculture to grow and thrive, but it takes work. As you can see, it's dirty, dusty, grimy work. It sure is. And we appreciate you coming out today. Well, we appreciate everything you do, and thanks for feeding us. And make sure you thank a farmer, too. Thanks a lot, Jerry. Thank I've you. had a good day. Thank you, Cammie.